Hey guys, so we're gonna start out with this mini haul and then we're gonna move into cleaning my hamster strudel's cage. As hamsters are omnivores, I got them some freeze-dried mealworms for a source of protein. The second thing I got them is this corner tunnel from Night Angel and it's a compostable tunnel that the hamsters can actually eat the top of because it's mixed with flowers and forage material. Then I got them this soft cork granule, which is a substrate. I've seen different YouTubers use the k Cob KT, so I thought I'd give it a try. It is made from 100% corn cob, so it is completely safe for the hamsters. Then I got them the KT Clean and Cozy Bedding because I ran out of it and this is my favorite bedding because it has the least amount of dust and is the softest in my opinion. Now let's get started cleaning Strudel's cage. So I'm doing a deep clean here and you can see me removing the different parts of his cage currently so that I can access the layer of bedding. Strudel loves his flax and this is his favorite. Every time I put it in, it is gone in a few days. So you might notice that we're back to the single cage and when I tried to combine the two of them, it worked for a little bit, but then Strudel started digging down to where the crack is between the two former cages and was shoving some of the bedding and debris out of the cage constantly. So I was worried that he would try and pull the cages apart or dig deep enough that he could push the crack. So for safety purposes, I put him back into just this cage. I have been looking into DIY cages and thinking that I'm going to build one this summer for him. He's a big chewer so you can see right here where he nibbled on the legs of his sand bath. This is why it's important to use hamster safe wood because you never know what your hamster is going to chew on or try and eat. So now I'm just picking up the top layer of bedding and trying to find any parts that are particularly dirty to change out. And here is Strudel, he was napping in his usual spot under his multi-chamber hut. The multi-chamber hut helps simulate the burrows in the wild that the hamsters would make and they usually have different compartments where they will go to the bathroom, store food, and sleep. So right there I was just looking for his chamber where he went to the bathroom. And now I'm going to add in some more bedding to get back to the height that I like and I will put in some more later once I start putting in his cage accessories. This is some aspen bedding that I'm adding in to help hold the structure of his burrows in here and to make it more cozy to nest in. This is his sandbox that he loves and he always pees in here so it's pretty easy to clean out with a litter scoop. I'm using this bin as a substrate holder for the K-Cob. Strudel really ended up liking this substrate, so I will definitely be purchasing it again, but it is a huge bag, so it should last me a while. Now I'm adding in some of the soft cork granules into this mason jar. I'm going to tuck that into his bedding. It's important to continue patting down the bedding so that the burrows can hold the structure. 
This is a piece of grapevine wood and he loves this also and I think it really adds a nice look to the cage. Even though he can reach his sandbox pretty easily, I'm just adding this ramp in case he wants to use it to get in. Now I'm adding in the extra bedding to help level everything out and give him the most amount of bedding that I can. This is my favorite part, adding in all the different sprays into the habitat so that he has a choice of many different things to forage on besides his daily food, fruits, and vegetables. Let me know if you guys would enjoy a video going over the different types of forages that are hamster safe. I think it'd be fun, but I don't want to bore y'all if you're not interested in it. This red sorghum is another one of his favorites. This silver millet is awesome and it looks so beautiful in the cage and he loves to nibble on it because it kind of flops everywhere so it's pretty easy for him to access. Usually I put in all of the structures first but I completely forgot about this one so I'm just adding it in the corner right here. Now I'm sprinkling some of his seed mix throughout the enclosure so that he is able to look around and dig for it. Here is some moss that adds a really pretty natural look to the cage and would likely be something he would encounter in the wild. Now I'm adding in some leaf and flower mix from Happy Hamstery. This was the one that was in the hamster subscription box and I love it. I'm also adding in the Chubby Hamster Cheeks flower mix for a pop of color and some fun things for him to nibble on. So here's the final cage. It looks a lot better now and I'm glad I got to rearrange it to provide some new stimulus for him. Here is Strudel. This is the best part seeing how he likes his new enclosure. Strudel made a beeline for this tunnel and tried to go in it a second time, so I'm happy I got that and that he really likes it. He was so cute here, he kept looking up wanting to come out and play. Giving his wheel a test run in the new location. Sometimes when there's a lot of bedding in the enclosure, it will actually enter the wheel when he's digging and moving around a bunch, which obstructs him from running freely, so I'm trying to see if moving it onto the wooden platform eliminates this issue. There he goes, back to bed.